Hello, everyone, and welcome to the last week of the first unit for individuals and societies. So in order to explain exactly what we're going to do, I want you all to check your BC page and look for A1 study guide that illustrates what we're going to do precisely. First of all, the summative assessment will be individual work. That means you will be doing it all by yourself and present it individually. However, during the seventh week, you will all in class research for the information that is reflective to one specific topic. So you'll need to scroll down and print and cl click on the study guide to identify what are the uh, options that you can choose that you will research on. So you only need to choose one. So for instance, like we did in our formative, let's say I want to choose pollution, water pollution, like you've all done. So during these three classes, you're going to research information about water pollution, the causes, the consequences, the effects and solutions. And while you're researching, you need to write down on one word document, okay, all the information you want to mention within your brochure. However, keep in mind, it should be paraphrased and restated in your own words. So take a look over here. This indicates on each page what you must include. On page one, you need to have a cleared and focused research question, like we've mentioned before. Page two, you need to explain, give me a brief, brief background about it. Page three, you need to tell me the causes and explain them. How do they impact us? Also mention some solutions. Find a place that maybe suffers from this issue or find a, found a way to resolve this issue. And finally, you need to cite it. After we're done with this, the IMS exam that is on your schedule is the class where you will create your brochures inside of the class individually. Okay, so this is in regards to criterion B. Okay, this will reflect your investigating. However, for criterion C, it is the presentation part. You will create a PowerPoint presentation following the steps above, slide one, slide two, and so on. Record yourself and email it directly to me and privately to me. No one else will see the video apart from myself and our head in addition to the teacher that is also teaching the grade level, okay? I wish you all the best. If you have any inquiries, please don't hesitate and email it to me. Have a lovely day and I can't wait to begin the next unit.